Today I'm taking a look at Associated British Foods as they've reported half-year figures as a, an interim statement. Uh, so Associated British Foods is a massive company. Uh, if you're living in the UK, uh, go to the supermarket regularly, you'll see a lot of names in there. You'll recognise Twining's Tea, Jordan's Oatmeal, King's Mill Bread, Ovaltine, Rye Vita. Wow, what an impressive list of brands that they're selling in the in the supermarkets. So as a business, they're into grocery quite heavily. They also do sugar, agriculture, uh, ingredient production, and retail. Now, the retail side of uh, Associated British Foods in the UK is Primark. And Primark is a predominantly a clothing retailer and actually represents about 50% of Associated British Foods business nowadays. Now, the brands on there, Mazola Corn Oil, Dorset Cereals, Primark there, Patax. Silver Spoon Sugar. That's uh, that's an incredible list of, uh, of, uh, of brands sitting there for, for AB Foods. So let's nip over to SharePad and have a look at the, um, the news for today. The shares have actually gone down today, which was quite uh, staggering as they're reporting they've re returned to uh, pre-COVID levels of training, uh, trading. Uh, but the Primark uh, discount fashion stores will need to raise prices in order to offset inflation. Well, re realistically, so is every retailer out there at the moment. Uh, they're, they're all going to be putting their prices up to the, the cover the costs of all the overheads that they're facing uh, over the coming months. So the great news here, the financial half year, March 5th, rose 25%. So 7.88 billion as opposed to 6.31 billion for the whole year previously. Pre-tax profit doubled 635 million from 275 million. Um, it, it's a it's a huge indication that the business is going very much on track. Obviously, the grocery food production side was obviously pretty stable during pandemic times, but with the Primark businesses half of the business of the clothing retailer, with many of the stores shut uh, during Rony Rona. Uh, it shows things are very much getting back on track. But the share price fell today, which did seem to me particularly surprising. Um, so the maybe concerns there of the operating profit margins at uh, Primark. Uh, trading conditions for the store chain were much improved during the period due to the relaxing of most government restrictions on store operations. Half year sales returned to pre-COVID levels, and, and it's, it's all very much good news. And they're taking the actions necessary to uh, offset the price increases that are coming in as much as they possibly can and uh, any possible other moves in inflation, as every other retail business out there is doing at the moment. So what I've done is a projection there. I've taken the figures they've given for the half year and projected in a, a full year figure. So we're seeing a lovely rise to, to pre-COVID levels. We, we may well, back on that projection, be back at 2018-2019 figures uh, for the for the coming uh, coming six months or so results, and again on the the pre tax profits again pretty much up to uh, to, to pre COVID levels. So uh, I think there's an awful lot to look forward to with AB Foods. So turnover, net profit, and uh, gross profit sitting there on the figure. So I think we're very much seeing that that return to those uh, those turnover levels that's what that's projecting for the year and uh, the the profitability levels that's going to come back on track track so i think we may need to go back and have a look at where the share price was back in 2018 2019 to give us some sort of indication of uh, what we may be expecting it to return to assets versus liabilities uh, all very stable i think they've actually reduced the liabilities in 2021 obviously we won't see the 2022 figures yet Capital expenditure obviously went down during the Rony Rona period. If the stores are closed, you don't need to spend money on them. And free cash flow looks like that's probably going to be returning to pre-COVID levels. So all in all, it's very, very positive. So Yahoo Finance is projecting a growth rate at 25.4% over the next five-year period as an annual growth rate. So that's going to be quite substantial. So putting that into the DCF calculator, that's coming out based on last year's figures, 2021 uh, with an intrinsic value at thirty four seventy, um, obviously the buy figure will be half half of that price. That's the that's the ideal kind of figure. And oh, guess what? We're pretty much on that point at the moment. The other quick indication calculator is Phil Towns ten cap method. 
but she's showing 8.52% based on last year's figures. Uh, so relating that in, ideally you want that one over 10. Um, and I, I think we, uh, once the new figures come in in the second half of the year, that may well be back over that 10 figure. Um, so that, that's a, quite a serious buy indication. So the chart over the last five years was showing a high figure there at 27 and we're showing a low figure and falling today at uh, 1548. So it indicates there may be a bit more downside to come. Um, but the price confirming from some calculators there is certainly very attractive at the present time. So I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section below and we'll catch up with you again soon.